it's really taken some time to work through this and getting experts together, um, you know, because we can't, we don't have enough insight and data to, to make some sort of simple black and white calculation says this is, this is what you should do or not do. We've got time available um, before we, um, we bring Starliner home, and we want to use that time wisely. Um, right now, uh, Butch and Sonny are uh, well engaged on board the International Space Station. I know if I was in their position, I'd be really happy to be there, and I'd, I'd be happy to, to have the extra time. Uh, it's great to be there um, uh, in, enjoying the environment, uh, eating that great space food, and uh, being able to look out the window. Um, so um, I know that uh, that they're making the best of this time, but I'm sure they're eager for uh, a decision. As most of you know, Butch and Sonny are very familiar with life aboard the space station. This is their third station mission for both of them. I do want to put this into perspective. If Butch and Sonny do not come home on Starliner and they are kept aboard the station, they will have about eight months on orbit. We have done multiple successful long-duration missions, even up to a year. Those missions have given us volumes of data about the effects of long-duration spaceflight that we continue to use in space exploration. As I assign crew members to a flight and before they launch, we discuss nominal and potential off-nominal mission durations. They are always prepared. So I have spoken, uh, like I said, quite a bit with Butch and Sonny um, they are receiving a lot of information that we are revealing here on the ground. Um, I do ask for their opinion, but when I talk to them, they are relying on us on the ground to analyze the data and to come up with a decision, and they will do what we ask them to do, and that's their job as astronauts.